Hello everyone, we finally got the DLC trailer for Ace Combat 7's DLCs number 4, 5 and 6 including the release date. So DLC number 4, Unexpected Visitor will be coming this month on September the 25th. DLC number 5, Anchorhead Raid will be coming on October the 23rd. And DLC number 6, the 10 million relief plan will be coming on November the 27th. We do know the locations or where the missions will be taking place in uh, DLC number 4 and 5. They will be the Artiglio port from mission 18 Ace Combat 7. And they also Anchorhead Raid which is mission 16 in the in Anchorhead. But we're gonna get the day version of the city. And the last mission we don't know exactly where it's gonna be. But there's some speculation going on that's gonna be on either the Schooly Islands from previous games. Or also Twinkle Islands from previous games as well. Like Ace Combat 2 and where Megalith or its ruins take place. But with that said, now you know the dates and let's start the trailer analysis. So here's a question for you, Alex. How can we do this without killing three strikes? It's a requiem. Set off as soon as we're ready. Our objective is to capture an advanced submarine in harbor at Artiglio. David North. I'm an OIA analyst from Advanced Weapons Analysis. The sub's force projection capabilities are equivalent to a carrier strike group. And indeed they are. Let's take a look on the right side of the screen for some specifications on the Alicorn. On the railgun section we can see that the railguns can be used for anti-ship, anti-structure and anti-air missions. The gun has a caliber of 200mm and fires a shell of 155mm, which is huge. But more importantly, it has a rate of fire of 80 rounds per minute. Which is the fastest firing railgun in Stranger's history and is something to make the Balkans jealous. Aiding the guidance of the shells the railgun uses GPS tracking and also is capable of even firing high explosive anti-ship shells. Right below that section we get information on the aircraft that the Alicorn can carry. Its aircraft capacity goes from 20 to 30 depending on the model carried. The Alicorn can thus carry 30 Rafale M's, 20 Sukhoi 33s, 24 MiG-29 Ks, which is by the way the first time the MiG-29 K is mentioned in Ace Combat, 22 F-18s or a combination of these aircraft. The Alicorn can also launch an unknown quantity of UAVs, but most likely through the weird base located besides the submarine. Right below we get information on the Alicorn itself. The submarine was designed around the year of 2000 and was launched on January 1st, 2015 while it was commissioned on August the 11th of 2019, which is literally one day after the destruction of the Nijord fleet, which is mission 11 of Ace Combat 7. We do get some detailed information regarding the length, beam and height of the submarine, which is 495 meters, 116 meters and 55 meters respectively. When the Alicorn is on the surface, it has a displacement of 650,000 tons, which is about 6 times greater than the Ford class aircraft carrier. However, when it comes to the number of crew inside, then the number is much smaller. The Alicorn can only have a maximum crew of 350 people, including an air crew contingent between 120 to 200 people responsible for the 20 to 30 aircraft on board. Down quite a few, but haven't even made a dent. Retreat not authorized. We our hot shot won't even last 5 minutes. Captain of the submarine Alicorn. Does anyone know how his people hailed him? The hero of Cumberth Harbor is the answer. Cumberth Harbor is a city located in the Uzean continent that has been only featured once in the Ace Combat games. And that was in Ace Combat 4's Mission 6 Invincible Fleet, where the ISF just completely destroyed the Erosion Aegir fleet, which was stationed there. When you play that mission, you can actually destroy all the Erosion ships there. But it seems likely, and this is my conjecture, that this guy, Captain Matthias Torres, was there and he was able to escape most likely in a submarine undetected and thus he was the hero of that battle for surviving. This is a good shot because it allows you to see the landing deck of the Alicorn, which means the Alicorn can do simultaneous launches and recoveries of aircraft and if there's a tunnel, maybe you can fly through it. So use your imagination, my fellow submariners. This boat has the means to end this hideous war in a definitive and elegant manner. You want to end wars with nuclear weapons? A world of no boundaries wants to know your location. I need three strikes. Get him. <laughs> There's definitely something interesting with these two Sukhoi 47s. First, they have a very interesting paint scheme. 
and their aircraft numbers are 205 and 206. So I'm just gonna leave you with this conspiracy theory from a comment in the previous video. I hope you had time to read that and just a reminder that Osea had been infiltrated once before by a great country that did nothing wrong. I'm gonna screw you up so bad. Two things to keep in mind, these Sukhoi 47s bear the Ocean Air Force markings and you can also see that they have apparently some electronic warfare capabilities because as you can see we are targeting a ghost target probably created by the Sukhoi 47. And their names are Rage and Scream. Sounds like some very Belka names to me. Just saying. Some individuals are exempt from rules that should apply to everyone. The hero is suddenly a risk factor the moment the war is over. Here's a question for you, Analyst. Just exactly who are we fighting? As of now, this boat no longer belongs to the erosion military. This is just my opinion, but I got the impression that his rhetoric sounds a lot like a war with no boundaries. Cease combat immediately. And it appears that they are targeting the Ocean capital of Aurid. Evacuate. There's no means of retreat. We'll have to kill them all if we are to live. Kill you. We tried to be heroes too. We really tried. What do we do? We'll no longer be soldiers. The moment. As it was pointed out by some of you guys in the previous analysis, this seems to be an attempt by the AI to calculate where the Alicorn will move next, or where he's gonna be, or what his next operation will be. But we don't. I'll happily quit my career. It's a ritual. Don't you see three strikes? Alicorn spotted. It's This concludes my trailer analysis, let me know what you guys think or if I missed something do let me know in the comments and as a reminder the first mission will come a week from now on Wednesday. I hope you guys are excited because I surely am and I'll see you guys in the next video.